The walls around Jerusalem were finished, at last. With God's help, the people finished rebuilding the walls and the city gates in just 52 days. Ezra, a priest and scribe, had traveled from Babylon to Jerusalem with a group of God's people. God was with Ezra, and Ezra wanted to study God's law, obey it, and teach it to God's people. Ezra met with some of the people of Israel. He learned that some of the people and their leaders had disobeyed God, ignoring his word. Ezra tore his clothes, and he pulled out some of his hair. He sat down and was very upset. Ezra got on his knees and he prayed to God, confessing the people's sin. As he did this, God's people began to gather around him. They cried too and offered sacrifices, promising to be faithful to God. Several years later, the people in Jerusalem gathered together early in the morning at one of Jerusalem's gates. Men, women, and children, anyone who could understand, came to listen to the reading of God's word. As the sun was just coming up, Ezra brought out the book of the law of Moses that God had given to his people. God's words were written on a scroll. Ezra stood on a high wooden platform and began to read. Ezra read the law for hours, and all the people listened carefully. The people stood up. They had respect for God's word. Ezra praised God, and the people lifted up their hands. Amen, amen, they said. The people in the crowd bowed down with their faces to the ground, and they worshipped God. Some of the leaders there, the Levites, explained the law to the people and helped them understand the words Ezra read. As the people heard the words of the law, they began to cry. The law was God's rules for living, and the people had disobeyed God. They realized they had sinned. Ezra, the Levites, and Nehemiah, the governor, said, This day is holy to the Lord your God. Do not be sad or cry. Even though the people's sin made them sad, this was a happy day. Then Ezra said to them, Go home and prepare a feast. Eat rich food and drink sweet drinks. Share what you have prepared with those who have nothing prepared. The people obeyed Ezra. They prepared a feast. They were glad because they understood the words of the law that were explained to them. God's word is powerful. When Ezra read God's word, the people loved God more and changed their ways. The Bible says that Jesus is the word. Jesus is God who came to live with people on earth. Jesus has the power to change our hearts.